Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Here's your pre-weekend update here for sports on the TV side today. Let's start with a trip over to Gearing High School from earlier this week. Another Scotts Bluff Gearing Seacat swimmer signed to continue competing at the next level. It was Patricia Woolsey making it official. She'll head to Nebraska Kearney. Um, I just like that it's an all-girls team. The coach was very supportive of everything that I wanted to do. She kept in touch with me throughout the season, made sure that I was doing what I needed to do. And it's just, I love it. This past season, Woolsey became the first Seacat swimmer in over a decade to reach a state championships final when she raced in the 500 meter free. Woolsey was a state qualifier all four years with the Seacats program, and she thinks her time with the Seacats really has her ready to take this next step. I think it did. Like every year, everything's been new. We've had new coaches, and it's just been, it's been a ride. But it's been good. A happy head coach is also a proud big sister. Here's what Seacats coach Vanessa Woolsey said about why Patricia is built to be a college swimmer. Well, I, she's very dedicated. She's worked really hard this season. Um, we threw a lot of things at her that I don't think she expected, but as always, she put it, put it where it needed to go and, and had a good attitude about it. Um, she's really going to take what she has, her ability to the next level at Kearney, and I'm really excited for her because it's going to be a great experience. Patricia Woolsey joins Maddox Janicek as Seacat swimmers from this gearing crop of seniors set to continue their careers in the pool at the collegiate level. Well, high school calendar shaping up like this with some events out there today, including girls and boys soccer matches for Scotts Bluff and Gearing. Both boys teams are at home with the girls matches on the road. Golf in a couple of different spots today. Shadron hosting their invite, plus South Platte hosting the Mac Golf Tourney. And don't forget the best of the West track and field meet that was postponed earlier this week. That'll now be held next Tuesday over at Scotts Bluff. And a mixed bag for the WNCC Diamond teams today. Both teams were supposed to be in action with home games. Instead, just the softball team at Volunteer Field with their doubleheader against Otero. Then softball at home against McCook Saturday through Monday for a weekend five-game series. The baseball team was set to host Trinidad State today, but those games canceled due to weather in the Trinidad area. Cougar baseball will be at McCook this weekend, Saturday and Sunday for action there. That is the latest today from the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.